Hi, I'm Greg. I'm an instructor with over 30 years of experience. So I've got to warn you, this video is different. It won't dazzle you with disasters. It has solutions and things for you to work on. If you like that idea, join me for this free training session. Crash landing! Crash landings are usually caused by poor glider control. A bad approach, landing downwind, oi, 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 turning low, no pitch control, flying into a hazard, landing behind an obstacle, or poor flare timing. Reduce the risk of a crash by keeping two landing options available within Easy Glide and favoring long landing strips lined up into the wind. Improve your chances by practicing spot landings, swoop flares, and butterfly beats, and always approaching with your legs down. This hazard could be seen from far away. It's only a lack of planning that makes it dangerous. Failed launch. Launch sites can be dangerous places with steep slopes, rocks, and tricky winds. Control errors can lead to getting overpowered, turning the wrong way, or running at a different speed to the wing, causing a sudden lift and dump, a collapse, or a turn into the slope. Sometimes pilots don't respect the danger and play around on launch sites without being properly prepared. Reduce the risk of a failed launch by doing a complete pre-flight check, setting a clear stop line for your launch, and limiting the range of wind conditions to less than 25 kilometers an hour and within 45 degrees off straight up the slope. Improve your chances by practicing ground handling on a slope, including smooth launches. Even the easy launch sites deserve respect. One wrong move, and there's a rock waiting for you. Collapsed wing! In most cases, a wing collapse should not lead to an accident. Paragliders can usually be recovered, but according to a study by the FFVL, over 90% of pilots don't throw the reserve when they should during a collapse that leads to an accident. Practice reserve deployments at home so you're mentally prepared to do it. You can tie the inner bag shut during simulations. Reduce the risk of a collapsed wing by flying actively. Catch forward surges. Half of this picture is a perfectly good wing, so let's concentrate on keeping that bit flying. Improve your chances by getting SIV training to develop your pitch control and collapse recovery. My friend Jockey Sanderson runs regular courses in Turkey. Check him out on his website. My Academy members get special prices. Well, welcome to my office and uh, your rescue boat. Uh, my name is Jockey Sanderson and I share a passion for SIV just like Greg does. So learn on Greg's website and come out here and fly with me. There are other common causes of accidents like over control, rotor and proximity. To learn more about managing these risks and building a safe flying strategy, visit my website and watch Avoiding Accidents. When you fly cross country, you're visiting a new site every few minutes. So this requires constant analysis and lots of caution. Try to reduce the number of risk elements that will impact you to avoid decision overload. I hope this video helps keep you safe. If you like it, share it and subscribe to see more like this. 
Have a great time when you go flying and I'll see you soon.